Sometimes the marriages become very ugly. Sometimes it's become a place of emotional torture, psychological torture. Things are getting uglier and uglier and uglier. And the daughter says to her own parents, she says, I know that I wanted to marry this person, but he's become someone else. He has this problem and this problem. And I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'd like to leave this marriage. And the, the, the father says, or the mother says, no, 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 you stay. You know what she's asking for is actually something halal. If she's in suffering, at least have an intervention, at least figure out what the problem is, at least acknowledge her pain. Instead of them being made feel guilty about them asking for something that Allah Himself made halal. A person has the right to feel respected. A person has the right to feel honored and dignified. A person has a right to feel loved, to feel like they belong. And if they're not feeling that, and they come to their loved ones and say, I'm suffering, they don't have a right to impose on them what Allah did not. And that's something really scary that we do. Making something haram that Allah has made halal.